Hi, uh, this is a quick explanation video uh, how to create a countdown timer for an event. So uh, this video was inspired by a question I've got uh, from one of my subscribers to my YouTube channel. So the question was that uh, there is an event which happens at some time in the future and uh, uh, I would like to have a countdown timer how much seconds is left before that event and this countdown timer should be kind of universal for all the users. So as you may know that countdown timer is being initialized each time uh, when the app starts. So it, it works as a individual copy of, um, it counts time individually for each uh, copy of the app. So let me explain how to, do the, uh, how to create some kind of a universal countdown. So here I have created uh, two screens already. I have an event uh, list, I have a list of events, I have events collection and uh, events collection, there are just two properties there uh, with the event name and the start time. I can add the events here uh, and I can create the event. Uh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to uh, make a create button work. Uh, so, uh, I'll take the input and the date time from the uh, date picker. And uh, here I have uh, event name and starting time. And what I would like to have as is to add the countdown timer. So uh, in order to have this countdown timer to be calculated, to, to display the uh, time uh, universally, we need to calculate uh, the difference between the current time and the event start each time when we visit this, when the user visits this screen. So uh, in order to make it work, uh, first of all, I will create the uh, temporary variable for the in users collection. So I will call it, it will be a number variable. I will call it a TMP countdown seconds. So uh, each time I enter this screen, I will initialize this uh, mm. variable. So I update logged in user and I set this countdown seconds to zero. Uh, but uh, when I enter the view uh, event screen, I need to initialize the timer. So I put number of seconds from logged in user uh, TMP countdown seconds. And uh, it's pretty easy to calculate the remaining number of seconds for the event. I can put it here on uh, uh, action uh, up, uh, enter screen, uh, but as um, there could be some other um, buttons in the screen and uh, if uh, I, um, a user will press this button, the uh, action will perform uh, once again. So I better put it into the simple list when I select the event name. Uh, uh, on the right action uh, section, I already have the link to this screen. So before that, I will just add the uh, calculation for the uh, remaining number of seconds. And uh, what I'm going to do is to update current user and this variable uh, countdown seconds uh, will be calculated as uh, current event start time minus current time and then we need to convert this to number of seconds. So this is actually a number of days. Uh, uh, integer and fraction is a percentage of the day, part of the day before the event. So in order to move it to seconds, uh, to tra uh, transfer it to seconds, we need to multiply by 24 then by 60 and then by 60 and here we get the number of seconds remaining uh, uh, before the start of the event and uh, this countdown I have already uh, put the uh, put the this variable mm, there so let me check once again how it's calculated okay done uh, so let's test how it works Take some time to load the app. So. 
login, event countdown. I don't have any events created, so let's just create one. CEO presentation. And I will, this event gonna be at Saturday at 12, for example. Okay, so this is the event. Uh, now it's Thursday uh, and uh, it's about 9.30 p.m. So let's see how many uh, you see there, there is no uh, days here. So let's uh, change the timer to display not only hours, but uh, where is it? Uh, but also uh, days. Once again, so yes, it's one day, fourteen hours, twenty six minutes. Uh, remember this twenty six minutes, thirteen seconds. If we go back and let, by the way, let's create another event, for example, which happened in one hour. Um, today at 10 gates, about 25 minutes. So here is test event. Let's have a look. As you see, 25 minutes, 35 seconds left. And for this one, you see uh, the timer has been updated. So for each user, if I re-log in with the other user, I will also have the uh, correct information uh, for this timer. Uh, well, that's it. A pretty simple video. Uh, hopefully it's going to be useful for some of you. Uh, thank you and uh, hope to see you soon.